horseplay can help employees blow off steam and bond with one another. But it is easy for things to get out of hand and in many instances, it can lead to accidents, property damage, and even injuries. Horseplay is often initiated by a practical joker who is seeking laughs and attention from coworkers. Playing jokes and having fun may seem like a good way to break up the workday. However, a horseplay in the workplace is not always harmless and often interferes with productivity. You should not trade safety for amusement. Horseplay at work should never be considered entertainment. In this lesson, we will discuss what is horseplay, the potential hazards created by horseplay, and how to prevent accidents caused by horseplay. Horseplay is defined as rough, boisterous, rowdy activity or pranks and presents a safety hazard that can quickly get out of hand and lead to injury or death. Many longtime employees feel it necessary to haze or prank new employees as a way of testing them. Whatever the reasons for doing it, horseplay is an amusement that distracts other employees and can create more hazards in the workplace. Some examples of horseplay include unauthorized contests, irresponsible vehicle operation, playing around or goofing off, harassment, grabbing, chasing, social pressure to participate in unsafe acts, and joking that includes physical contact such as scaring someone, wrestling, or tickling. Every year, there are numerous injuries directly caused by horseplay or pranks on the job. Most workplace accidents can be prevented by being alert to hazards and following the safety rule. When employees engage in horseplay, safety rules are often disregarded. Horseplay is usually considered a friendly way to let off steam, but it is dangerous because it creates situations of unnecessary risk due to the unexpected distraction and can result in humiliation, embarrassment, and sometimes even a desire for revenge. If someone gets hurt as a result of your horseplay or joke, you may be liable for damages. Some incidents where horseplay has resulted in injury have led to criminal prosecution, with the injuries being considered the result of a deliberate act and not an accident. Some of the risks associated with horseplay include, but are not limited to, the following. Running or chasing another employee can lead to tripping, slipping, or falling. This may also lead to a domino effect, causing the intended employee to crash into someone else and possibly fall against heavy machinery and be injured by moving parts. Boxes or open containers of hazardous substances can be knocked over, possibly causing injury to other employees. Throwing tools is a form of horseplay often cause injuries. Employees are in danger of being struck in the head, eye or foot, or cut with a sharp edge. Tampering with personal protective equipment can cause damage to or compromise the integrity of the equipment, exposing workers to hazardous substances or conditions. Speeding and stunt driving while operating forklifts can cause tipping, injuring the driver or employees nearby. Climbing on or under the forks on a forklift or moving crane parts can lead to crushing injuries. Or pushing, teasing, or distracting a fellow employee who is working with machinery can lead to pinch point injury. Do not initiate horseplay or allow yourself to get pressured into participating in it. Follow all regulations, instructions, and safety rules to ensure the protection of all employees and others who may be in the work environment. If a coworker is behaving in an unsafe or unprofessional way, report it to your supervisor. The safety and well-being of all employees is very important. Horseplay and other behaviors such as hazing, initiations, or other demoralizing acts that adversely affect safety are considered inappropriate. These activities will not be tolerated and are strictly prohibited. To make sure your workplace fun is not evolving into inappropriate horseplay, employees should be aware of any company policies regarding horseplay and adhere to those regulations. Report anyone else who is not complying. Follow all policies and procedures for operating equipment and use of PPE. Do not startle workers for fun, especially if they are working with sensitive or dangerous equipment. Do not distract other employees. This can slow productivity or negatively impact the quality of their work. And consider possible negative outcomes of the activity. If hazards are increased for you, 
your coworkers, or company property, it is best to not engage in the activity. In conclusion, horseplay is any kind of playful behavior that can potentially be harmful. It can occur between coworkers, friends, or even family members, and often escalates quickly and can result in serious accidents and injuries. There are several hazards associated with horseplay, including slips, trips, and falls, cuts, scrapes, and bruises, head injuries, and broken bones. Employers should have a policy against horseplay in the workplace, and employees should strive to follow it strictly. Workers who engage in horseplay may be disciplined, up to and including termination. This will help to prevent accidents and injuries from occurring. Always keep a safety mindset and ensure fun doesn't conflict with a safe work environment. If you have questions about your company's policies on horseplay, please speak to your supervisor. I'm McKenna, your safety trainer, reminding you to be careful and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please visit our YouTube channel for more safety training. Also, follow us on social media for OSHA updates, free safety webinars, reminders on safety tips, techniques, and more. What are you waiting for? Like, follow, or subscribe today. And stay safe out there. Thank you.